Hey, it's your boy Surge Dragon, and today I wanted to show something that greatly interests me. I don't know if it's going to be a good deck, but I'm still tinkering with it. I haven't played it yet, but this is an interesting deck. This card right here is what drawn my attention. Aroma Garden. Once per turn, if you control a Aroma Monster, you gain 500 life points. Also, all monsters you control gain 500 attacks and defense until the end of the, your opponent's next turn. Even if this card leads the field. Ooh, that is very interesting. The next following effect, if a face-up Aroma Monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can send... Wait, what? Send to the graveyard. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta read this again. If a face up a wrong monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, gain a thousand life points. Oh, I thought you could send this card to the graveyard or something like that. I read that wrong. <laughs> but now I understand. It was that one moment that I realized I might want to build one. And then I went to the trader, card trader, and I found them. There's like only three. So here we go. First is this little one, which is a two-star monster. Very weak, very cute. But if you look at the defense points, it only has 100 attack points. Not useful at all. And then you look at the defense, and you're like, wow, this little girl or boy jasmine that's a girl is got some damn good defense now read her effect during your main phase while your life points is higher than your opponents and this deck is mainly increasing your life points so that's assured you can normal summon one plant monster in addition to your normal or set except this monster you can only gain this effect once per turn once per turn if you gain life points, draw one card. So I spent some cash and got three. I'll show you that one next. Here comes the other one. And this one has weak defense, but decent attack for a four-star monster. While your life points is higher than your opponent's, if a plant monster you control attacks, your opponent cannot activate monster effects until the end of the battle step. So, basically, if Man Eater Bug or Level Bug or any other monster that would stop or destroy or summon anything, their ability is canceled as long as this monster is on the field and you attack with plant monsters. So, this is a plant deck. Next to that, we have once per turn, if you gain life points, target one face up monster on the field. Change is battle position. So if I gain life points, I can tie target my monsters, switch them to attack or defense, depending on the strategy at that moment, or my opponents. Hmm. Very interesting. This deck might actually come in handy against that circus freaking deck. Ugh. And finally... There's only three so far. I don't know if there's more. But he's a level six. So having three of them might be iffy. But I'm willing to try. When I do. If it doesn't, I'll just put two of them. While your life points is higher than your opponent's. If a plant monster you control attacks a defense position monster. Inflict piercing damage to your opponent. Once per turn, if you gain life points, this card gains a thousand attack and defense until the end of your opponent's turn. This is very interesting since he already has two, 2400 attack and 1800 defense points. If my life points increase, then he is 3400 stronger than Blue Eyes in both attack and defense for 2,800 defense included on that turn until my opponent's turn ends. 
then it'll be my turn again. And his attack points and defense points just go up again. And again, remind once per turn, if you control a Roma monster, you gain 500 life points. Also, all monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense. Oh, it didn't say specifically the Aroma monsters. It says, oh, as long as I have an Aroma monster on the field, and I have nine. Now, since this works with a plant deck, cards like this, all plant monsters you control gain 300 attack for each plant monster currently in your graveyard. So this is like a last resort, because if I do use it, all plant monsters are destroyed at the end of my turn. This card targets one plant monster you control, equip it, and it gains attack points. If this card would be destroyed by card effect while equipped, I can target one plant monster from my graveyard and special summon it. And this, special summon one level 2 or lower plant monster from my hand immediately or additionally so plant monsters like this will come in handy it's a eight star monster pretty powerful this card gains a hundred attack points for each plant monster I control or you control other plant monsters cannot be destroyed by card effect while this card is on the field so if I have a full set of monsters she'll have 3,000 attack points. Pretty interesting. And then you got this chick, who I plan on trying to see if I can get one more. You can banish this card from your gra graveyard, meaning it has to be in the graveyard. Meaning you either set it on the field to be destroyed, or you send it to the graveyard from your deck or hand. Special summon one plant monster from your hand, and if you do, it is unaffected by your opponent's trap cards. Right? Unaffected by your opponent's trap cards this turn. You can only use the effect once per turn. And I'm just trying to see what this guy is. I put him in there at the time. When this card you control is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target one level 4 or lower plant monster in your graveyard, except Seed Flame. Special summon that target. And if you do, special summon one seed token. To your opponent's side of the field in defense position. This token cannot be tribute for a tribute summon. So that's pretty much what I got right now. Oh, yes, save. By all means, save. No. I also added this to Taya's deck since she's got the ability Holy Guard. I take no damage on my turn. But here is why I'm doing it right now. Because looky, looky. Here's Card Trader. And as you can see, a lot of these cards take a lot of coins. I nearly broke my bank several times doing it. So, I got three of her. I can get one more of her, but I don't have the coins. Here's another plant monster that might be interesting. Marina? Marina? Oh, that's Spanish. Princess of the Sunflowers. If... Exactly one other plant monster you control and no other cards is destroyed by battle or by card effect and sent to the graveyard. You can target one card your opponent controls and destroy that target. This card must be face up on the field to activate this resolve. Mm, optional. Very optional. Does this have to do with plant monsters? No, it's a beast. I got three of him. I got three of her, and of course I got three of these cards. So, as you can see, they're pretty pricey. And the, oh, I thought she was here too. Oh, I don't know where that card is. Oh, let's see what this guy. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, special summon one horse tail token to your opponent's side of the field in defense position. Watch this card. Wait, what? When this token is destroyed by battle with a plant monster, the controller sends one card from their hand to the graveyard. Uh, hmm. 
I got one. I'd rather save my money. See, if I actually buy this guy, I'll bro break my bank. So I already got one. There was another card. Um, give me a second. Here you go. This is the card I was talking about. Biltana Girl. She was on that cover of the trap card. But she is for auction as well as the Rose Princess. And when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one plant monster with a thousand or less defense from your deck to your hand. So I can get who? One second. What's her name again? I need to read her names. Jasmine. Aroma Jasmine. I know that's one. Okay, it's taking a while. There you go. Rosemary. So I can get Rosemary that much easier. And the other one is... Wait, what? Bergamont? Bergamont? Am I pronouncing it right? Well, anyway. I figured I'd show you this deck. I don't know if it's going to work as well as I think. I'll make another video when I actually test it. But otherwise, this is just for show for right now. Until then, see you in the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. By all means, comment in the video if you have more questions or answers for this deck if you've actually used this I would love some pointers and tips if you have any and if you want to see more subscribe and I'll see you in the next video till then peace out